Dying Light 2 official gameplay trailer reaction. Oh, that's right, baby. Dying Light 2 Stay Human just released a gameplay trailer eight minutes long. So come on back, because we got to check this thing out. Hi, J-Rock has come back to you, too. What is happening in 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 with the millions? <laughs> and millions of J-Rock's fans from all over the world. That's right, J-Rock is here. Uh, we got ourselves another eight minutes of gameplay for the upcoming Dying Light 2. Um, played the first one, really, really enjoyed it. Uh, this one has been postponed indefinitely, so hoping and I'm thinking we're gonna get an official release date that they're actually gonna stick to. I hope they're like 90% done with the game. All right, so the last 10% is just basically, you know, roughing out any, uh, smoothing out any rough areas, uh, testing it, you know, getting everything uh, finalized. And then it'll go gold and we can finally get our hands on this and we ain't gotta wait another two years before we get to play it, all right? But before we check this video out, if this is your first time coming to the Great Ones channel, or you're back one more again, take a second, hit that subscribe button while they are chanting J Rock's name. Now, if you hit that subscribe button, take a second, hit that like button, comment down below where you found the Great Ones channel, and share. The Great Ones video, so the world knows that the YouTube people's champ is here. Uh, any reaction request you have, put it down in the comment section below. If I choose your video, I'll give you a shout out. All right, now let's check out this game play. Hey, everyone, we've been quiet for some time since, like the rest of the world, we had some unforeseen hurdles to clear. But the wait is over. Let's dive into the open world of Dying Light 2. Damn. Oh. Okay. The last slice of Dying Light 2 showcased the mission from the main storyline. You get after those fuck. You saw how your decisions influenced the narrative and notably changed the environment. This time, we want to give you a broader look at the game and a sneak peek at some of the things we'll be talking about in upcoming months. In Dying Light 2, you become Aiden Caldwell, an outsider trying to unravel a tangled mystery from his past. Its trail leads him to the city. That's the same guy from the first one? last bastion of mankind in the world. I don't remember. Oh, shit! will tear you apart but then you meet the night runners veteran survivors who help people in better days Woo. I'm Hagan. you were a night runner you used to help people remember night runners are gone and finished a myth nice and although it's not entirely clear you can trust them you need allies in the dark Oh. And these are the modern dark ages. It's been 15 years since the apocalypse and the world has changed. The old civilization has fallen, but a new one has been built on its ashes. People fight desperately for scarce resources. The rules are broken and weakness is punished. She's innocent. Oh, damn. Survivors pride themselves on being able to adapt to any circumstances and cobble together safe zones almost everywhere. Peacekeepers, loyal soldiers, who would impose their version of law and order and trample all in their path. Renegades, ex-prisoners serving their ruthless colonel, seeking to become sole rulers of the city. Where is Wolves? Make it tough. these factions to reach your goal help or harm them to reshape the city to your liking just remember each 
faction contains complex characters. <laughs> Nosy Barker, ain't you? Got some kind of bad habit of yours? So, will you follow cold calculation or your heart? The Bazaar needs good people. Help us and you'll find a home here. Some in the city offer no chance for an alliance. Bandits, outlaws, and common thugs live only to plunder and kill, plunging the streets into chaos. So you're fighting people too, huh? Yet, but you did that in the first one, right? Scares all of them equally. Yep. crawl out of hiding to prey on the poor souls caught outside the safety of UV rays. Mm. Hordes of infected pour into the streets like decaying lava. The deadly spawn of 15 years of mutation and evolution. Exploit the city's verticality and flee to the roofs. Ooh. Even there, you are never safe from swift and deadly virals. Nope. Or even greater threat. Woo! <laughs> Damn. Yet night brings opportunity as well. Nests rife with infected during the day now lie empty. To explore them, you must tread carefully. But those brave enough to face the terrors of the night can loot a jackpot. No. Oh. Got me wanting to play the first one, huh? I'm I'm scared of heights, so I'm gonna be like, oh, 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 I'm gonna fall. Like, dude, it's a video game. You're not gonna fall. It just looks like I'm gonna fall because I'm playing first person. Man. Like, Ballad of Kuda Grom. Mobility and hardcore, your aggressive blunt force combat, or a crafty approach where the tools you've created get the job done. Every ability you learn can be a game changer and possibly a new favorite move. Nice. Things move fast and quick in Dying Light 2. Each moment matters. Each move could mean triumph or defeat. Choose your actions and friends carefully. Everything you do in the city can reshape the gameplay environment, change the course of the narrative, and decide the fate of the city's residents. Damn! But most importantly, Crap. you decide your own fate as well. You're about to turn. Make sure to stay human. Ah. December 7th, end of the year. Well, J-Rock says this, we have an official release date come out at the end of the year, uh, towards the beginning of December. J-Rock will be getting this game. Hopefully it does not get delayed. Uh, but when it does drop, I will be on this day one. Uh, and I can only imagine after playing the first one, you know, the nighttime, to me, that was like the most fun, right? 
Like, you know you're going to have to run. You have to, you know, duck and dodge. You have to throw your firecrackers, you know, to, to get the, uh, I forgot what they called them. Um, the night, whatever you call those things. But you have to, you know, distract them, go over here, go over there. And, you know, you got more points, that sort of thing, if you're out at night. So the nighttime was more fun for me. Um, so I can only imagine it's going to be twice as fun on this one. And I can't wait to hear, you know, in the Pulse headphones, 3D audio, you know, the when you're sneaking around, you're hearing that things all around you, that sort of thing. Man, that's going to be fun in a, in a boot. But let me know what you think of this game. Uh, if you're going to be getting it or whatnot, post your comments down below. Let J-Rock know what you thought of his reaction to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. And if you enjoyed the Grey Wolf's reaction, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share. If you did not, Check your candy ass into the SmackDown Hotel. And be sure to hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Until next time. Mamba, Gigi, and Wakanda forever. If you smell, ow. Well, J-Rock is...